All right, I got a bone to pick with some of you little naughties up in my comment section. This is the symbol of hospitality, the industry that I make most of my videos about. Hospitality. This is widely recognized to be a symbol with an entirely different connotation. And if you are still young and pure, do not look it up. Pineapple started as a status symbol in Europe because it was so costly to transport them up from the Caribbean. They would cost about $8,000 a piece in today's money. But how did the rich wish to show off that they were so fabulously wealthy with buying these pineapples? Well, they put them in the centerpieces of their grand extravagant banquets where they would host all their guests. And not only was it a very intimidating status symbol of just how much money this person had, but it also honored their guests by showing that they went and spared no expense in providing for them for this banquet. Now, of course, as the years and years went on, pineapples became less and less as a status symbol displaying your wealth and more of a gesture of your goodwill and generosity when you're welcoming people into your home or into your place of business and treating them as honored guests. Now, I myself studied hospitality management at the University of Central Florida's Rosen College of Hospitality Management, and that is where I got this pin. Let me tell you, pineapples are everywhere at this school. Even the landscaping is meant to look like there are pineapples popping up out of the ground. So that is what this means. Nothing else, you nasties. <laughs> But I'm not here to yuck anyone's yum, and honestly, I don't know how or when or why this became a symbol for other things, but I might have to go make an exclusive video about it because I don't really think that I can talk about this on main. So with that being said, I hope I have clarified some things about the pineapple and answered the burning question that apparently a lot of you have had. <laughs>